Miss Nels is here, she's coming on. Yeah, a lot of paint. Paint all the way up right here. She doesn't call this usually paint. I'm gonna do a little trigger point right here in, in the office. What is that you have on your head? Oh, I have an abscess in my head. Gotta be careful, there's some infections now. The skin's open in here, why is it open? Doctor called on Mr. Grayson. The amount of pain he has is unbelievable. Ah! Put on, put on. Ah! Watch it, watch okay, it. Okay, I got okay. a cut in my hand. As I said before, your children are standing right in front of you as I'm standing in front of you. What would you tell them that you're not able to tell them? I love them, I love them, and I love them. And that's what it's all about. That I would do anything for them, again, that everything that happened has nothing to do with them. I would tell the, the kids watching this is to spend their time building relationships, get off the computer, talk to people, and start building memories. Today, we have too many of our youth in need of direction. They have lived their lives without the presence of their fathers, being left to wonder, was it their fault? This project is not cast in judgment. There is already enough of that in the world. Instead, it will bring answers to the questions that are rarely asked in such a loving way. We are creating this project for the purpose of healing. Healing young adults that have gone through this emotional trauma with the hopes they don't repeat. And by giving a voice to the fathers, finally being able to safely tell their story, trying to let them know they did love them, and they still do. We all have stories. We all deserve a second chance. And that is what Father's Day is all about. Hi, name's Wolfie. Hi, my name is Linnea. Hi, my name is Keitra. And this is my Father's Day story. And this is my Father's Day story. And this is my Father's Day story.